Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is our 27 tutorial of Power BI. In the previous class, we have covered some math and trick functions. And in today's class, we will cover up some other function. So let's go to the Microsoft Dex reference page. And in other function, we have a list of two functions, which is blank and error. So let's see the practical guys. Go to the Power BI desktop. So first we will talk about this blank function. So here is the table guys and go to our data view. So we guys can see here, I have taken one column where some values are blank. So here our requirement is wherever the blank value is written. So I want that value display as blank, else non-blank. So I will use this blank function with if condition. So I will take new column from here. And now I'll write my column name, which is let's say blank. Equal to now I will write my DAX with if condition. If the logical test is is blank. Now it's asking for the value and here our value is value column. Our table name is table blank. You guys can see here and the column name is values. So I will take value. And close the bracket. So I have set a condition that if value is blank. So our result would be blank. So I'll write here blank with an inverted comma. So if our value is non-blank, so it will display as non-blank. Now close the bracket and press enter. So we guys can see wherever the blank is displayed, it will show as blank, else it is non-blank. So in this way, you guys can use this is blank function. Now again, go to the Microsoft reference page. So we have one more function guys, which is error function. So we will quickly cover this function. Go to the Power BI desktop and I have created one more table here guys, which is sales. So if you divide 100 with zero, it will display an error. Let's say if I want to divide 100 with this zero, so it will display an error guys, 100 divided by zero. So you guys can see 100 cannot divide it by zero. Even we can't divide any value with zero. So firstly, I'll use this calculated column and I will divide sales into profit. My column name is sales, which is in sales table. And I'll put here divide sign by profit, which is also in sales table and press enter. So we guys can see wherever the 100 is divided by zero or any value is divided by zero, it will display as infinity. That means error. That means we can't divide this value to zero. So now we will use if condition here with error function to remove this error. So what will I do? I will take new column from here and start write my DAX. So my column name is Let's say if error. Now I will write my DAX function with if condition. So firstly, I'll put the if condition here, guys. And under if condition, I will use this is error function. And here is only one parameter, guys, which is value. So our value is divide column. So our column name is divide. So I will use this divide column, which is in sales table. Now close the bracket, press comma and inverted comma begin. So that means wherever the error is given. So I want display as error. Else not error. We guys can see wherever the infinity is displaying, it displaying as an error, else not error. 
So in this way, you guys can use is error as well as is blank function with the help of if condition. So I hope guys you are clear with this concept of is blank and is error. And now we will cover up some related function. So here are some relationship function. So we will talk about this related function. Rest function you guys can practice yourself. So go to the Power BI desktop. So in table one, we have a names and department names. And in table two, we have a names and the sales. So you guys can see the names are same in both the table, which is Shubham, Rahul, Ashish, and Anshul. Shubham, Rahul, Ashish, and Anshul. So we want to display the sales in table one. So what we need to do, we can use related function here, guys. So let me add the new column here. Let's say my column header name is related. And now I will use the related function. And our column name is sales, which is in table two. And close the bracket. So we guys can see we have fetched the sales column from table two. So in this way, you guys can also use this related function. And in our upcoming class, we will cover up some more DAX functions. So please watch this series from sequence for learning Power BI from scratch. And guys, I'm also providing paid interview preparation training where I will teach you some live corporate scenarios as well as some real time projects exposure. And for more details, you guys connect me on LinkedIn directly. LinkedIn link is given under the description box. So thank you so much guys and don't forget to like, subscribe and share.